Quicksilver suit up or this Quicksilver psychic deck. We're going to be trying it against a, the Sinister Six. I brought them back out because I thought that would be fun. So we're sidekicking Scarlet Witch, which is his signature ally. And this is this is kind of interesting because Scarlet Witch is a is a fairly decent ally, right? Whenever she uses a basic power, we're discarding the top card of the deck and we get a benefit based on how many boost icons are on that card. But what's really cool is if Scarlet Witch can stay on the table, it powers up superpower siblings. And superpower siblings, we're going to be netting a card when we're in Alter Ego. So not only do we get the benefit of activating Scarlet Witch multiple times, if we roll down to Alter Ego, we're getting the superpower siblings trigger with her on the table. Now, we probably also want to be healing her to keep her on the table. So we will be taking a couple of, um, a couple of trips down in order to make sure that she is safe. We're going to find her with a call for backup or a suit up. We're also going to bring White Tiger and Nick Fury for card draw, which ironically is probably not the right call. Um, <laughs> we're going to swap White Tiger for Maria Hill just with this uh, this matchup because Maria Hill is just going to be a more effective card draw, or I guess more efficient card draw at two cost versus the, the three cost for all of these who the villain is currently one. So I've been keen for Jubilee versus Mojo for the X-Men 97 vibes. I still haven't started it. I really need to start it. Mm. I didn't need to play taunt. I just used preemptive strike and similar. Oh, nice to take attacks for others waiting for the second or third attack to use the uniform. That's sick. That's really cool. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cause you don't have to trigger the uniform. You just wait until you take enough attacks and you have 11 resources. Isn't that's cool. That's fun. We've also got side by side. Side by side is nice because it's going to ready Quicksilver, which is going to ready friction resistance. And we get a little bit of a discount here, but we can also utilize Scarlet Witch again. Superpower training can also grab friction resistance, but all that reading is going to trigger a maximum velocity epic turn. We've got ready to rumble because if we are going to be recovering for Pietro, we want to be able to flip up and ready so that we can then trigger his super speed ability. And so ready to rumble is in here just for that flip up on the ready. X gives us a safe trip down. And then our other Voltron targets are going to be Iron Man and Ronan. So when we get Scarlet Witch on the table, we can then use suit ups to grab Ronan and Iron Man. But the other cool thing about this is, is that if we are running suit ups and we are flipping consistent ishly, then the suit ups can be a card that we discard for our superpower siblings, and that's okay. So it's a little bit of a negated uh, detriment of drawing those dead cards. Treskelion opens up an ally slot. Then we've got sidearms, inspired. One of the inspired goes on witch, power gloves, reinforced suit, team training, death focus, and our doubles. So that's uh that's the deck. I think I called it Quicksilver Suit Up, but we'll see how it goes. I. I'm looking forward to it. I do think it, pr I like any psychic deck, I think it's probably going to work a little bit better in a multiplayer game, but we're going to try it solo because why not, right? Ooh, alrighty. So Pietro starts with 10 health, and then we've got, we're actually just going to use damage counters for our, uh, for our friends, friends here. My Triskelion sleeve is busted. Fix that later. How was everyone's weekend? Everyone do anything fun? Alrighty. The... Yeah. I am... Or someone just commented on the, the video for the uh, Deck Factory talking about brawn i think brawn and Ironheart would be a really fun sidekick target i think that would be pretty cool also you get that kind of uh that money back for playing the um side by side you get it back with friction resistance as well but i was like oh that's a cool because brawn gets exhausted you can use you can like attack with three generate that mental resource to play side by side. I thought that was pretty neat. Let's see what we got to do here. Choose X villains at random where X is one num one more than the number of players. 
Alrighty. Well, the first one's easy. We just roll a dice. Three. Then we'll re-roll a six. One. These are our villains. Running. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Uh, weekend was good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad to hear that. Nice. So we got Vulture and we've got Craven. So Vulture... After Vulture attacks and damages you, we have to choose and discard one card from our hand. Move the active counter to the next villain in the activation order. When defeated, remove four threat from a side scheme. Seven threat if no other villain is in place. Set this villain aside. Um, then we got Craven, who after he attacks and damages you, choose and discard one supporter upgrade you control. Uh, this is the active villain, which we will pull that down. We need to see that. Put those villains into play. Place the active counter on the villain with the lowest activation order. Put the light at the end of the tunnel. Trap side face up. Ambush. And force interrupt when a villain would activate if no villain is in play. Resolve ambush. That starts with two threat. Alrighty. So the goal here is to get through light at the end. We'll flip this over. Um, into light at the end. We have 15 more threat to remove before we have to go. The nice thing about this deck is that we will probably build, 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 and then we're going to have some pretty powerful things online. We are going to mulligan really, really hard here for a suit up. Death focus is really tough to pass up, but we're going to toss five cards for a suit up. Or six. Always be running. There's Psychic. Ready to rumble? Always be running. Accelerated Reflex, and a Friction Resistance. Well, we didn't get suit up, <laughs> but we do have Superpower Siblings, so let's go ahead and discard two cards from our hand. That's going to be Psychic, because we can get that with suit up, and uh, probably an Always Be Running. I'm going to draw into a Superpower Training and a Side-by-Side. -side. And this is, this, is the, this is kind of the problem. Um... With uh with psychic is if you don't get it, you can be in trouble. Wow, Quicksilver is uh Scarlet Witch Psychic, yeah. Heck yeah. How's it going, JF? Alrighty, so I want to get an accelerated reflex onto the table. We can drop a friction resistance. Um that's the plus one defense. So it's it's just fine to just drop this onto the table let's go ahead and flip up to quicksilver we'll go ahead and use these three to play a friction resistance after you ready quicksilver ready this card we'll use friction resistance always be running to drop a accelerated reflex and then we will oh we're gonna lose one of these cards i didn't think about that um bummer uh we'll thwart ready thwart take this down to zero and let's stand up. We've got Scarlet Witch. There's our psychic. There's Maria Hill. Always be running. Power gloves. And a maximum velocity. Ooh. I'm going to add one. Craven is going to attack. We're going to block for two. Let's go ahead and get our defense counter out here. Which we will probably immediately remove. But still. I haven't played Quicksilver for a really long time. Like, five wave gap. Oh, wow. Oh, Quicksilver is so good. Plus one. So we are going to take a damage. Then after he attacks and damages you, choose and discard one supporter upgrade. That's going to be Accelerated Reflex. And then move over to Vulture. Yeah, Quicksilver is a ton of fun. Encounter card. Hidden in Shadow. Each enemy gains one hazard icon. Alrighty. Well, that's got to go. <laughs> That's a that's a game ending card right there. Do get to ready. Alrighty, can we get can we get cute here and play Maria Hill and Scarlet Witch? We absolutely can. If we do that, we will be able to take out Hidden Shadow. So let's go ahead and use Friction Resistance and a Power Gloves to play Maria Hill. It's going to draw us into a Inspired. 
I'm trying to figure out. I may not want to play Scarlet Witch. Because, okay, so this is a weird thing about suit up. Knowing that we have suit ups coming, we cannot grab suit up with, or we cannot grab psychic if Scarlet Witch is on the table. Craven right away showing why I'm not a fan. Oh, yeah, right? Craven's, Craven, Craven's mean. I don't like Craven at all. So honestly, I may not want to play Scarlet Witch because with my suit up, I can grab Scarlet Witch and Psychic, but I cannot grab Iron Man and Psychic because you have to grab an upgrade that can be attached to the ally that you grab. That's kind of interesting. Huh. I never really thought about that. I think I think we're going to not play Scarlet Witch. We're going to use Scarlet Witch and Inspired to play maximum velocity. We are going to go ahead and thwart for three off of Hidden Shadow. That's going to ready, ready. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and hit Craven for three. Get Craven out of here. Maria Hill will go ahead and thwart here. This is a much easier scenario when you're allowed to run allies. The last time I played this was from that solo challenge. Uh -huh. Why can't you play Scarlet Witch? I'm yet to receive my AOA inbox in two weeks. Yeah, so JF, let me elaborate a little bit on that. So the entire deck revolves around getting Psychic on Scarlet Witch. And one of we've already passed Sidekick. Where, where was it? And so we're only allowed to run one copy of this card. And so since if we play Scarlet Witch, we have to wait an entire deck pass until we have the potential of seeing Sidekick again. The difference with this, and I'll just, I'll reshuffle, but we have Suit Up, which is a, uh, a new card in AOA that says, as an alter ego action, we can search our deck and discard power for an ally and an attachment that can go on that ally. And so since... If I put Scarlet Witch on the table, I would have to go through my deck again to get my um, my Psychic. But if I don't, if I use a suit up, I can go grab Scarlet Witch and I can grab Psychic in the same turn. So you cannot grab like Iron Man because Psychic can only be attached to a identity specific ally. So. I it was I can play her. I absolutely can play her. Um, but I think it's going to be more consistent if I don't. And then I use suit up here, hopefully next turn. I haven't seen any. So <laughs> hopefully next turn. That's kind of the idea. I remember that no ally challenge. That was, that was something. That was tough. Let's use friction resistance to ready quicksilver and ready friction resistance. Then we're going to use a three attack to go three more on Craven. Then we'll stand up. We got team training. Energy. Nice. Always be running. Nick Fury. And a suit up. So there's the suit up. I'm going to add one thread here. Vulture is going to attack for two. Oops. And after he attacks and damages you, discard one card from your hand. I don't want to do that. Do we just block with Maria? Yeah, we do. Block with Maria. Plus one. Unique wording on suit up. Yeah, yeah, it is. It, is. it needs to be an upgrade that can be attached to that ally. So you cannot grab any upgrade. It has to be able to be attached to that ally, which is the tough part. Yeah. Evil Alliance. Each Nemesis minion in play activates against you. No minions activated this way. Place three pursuit counters on pursuit by the past. Also... I absolutely love standard three. Standard three is so good. So, so good. We do have a team training. Um, or, I'm sorry. We do have a suit up. But. Let's use any energy. Always be running in a friction resistance to play Nick Fury. We'll draw three cards. One, two, three. 
three. I was really kind of banking on drawing a double there. Um, here we are. Because if I use suit up, I wouldn't be able to play both of them. I would actually... I could play Scarlet Witch. No, I wouldn't. I would not have the, the money to do it. I do have one more suit up. So I think... Yeah, I think we just hang out and build a little bit more. Use our last suit up when we grab it next turn. Yeah. Uh, Quicksilver is going to go ahead and poke Craven the Hunter for one. That's going to ready, ready. Let's use Friction Resistance and a suit up. Oh, to play Team Training. I misplayed this so hard. Uh, we'll go two threat. No, we'll go. We'll take out Craven. Remove four threat from here. And then we'll thwart one here. Hey, Catastrophe, I have a quick question. Do you have the villain health dials from by the same token? I do not. I don't have. I don't actually have any special health dials outside of... I do have the Lord of the Rings threat tracker dials. And those are really nice. X-Men, very fortunate that they have many card draw and supports that really make use of suit up. Most heroes need to pray for doubles. That's true. That's true. Um, I think most... Uh, if your ally costs four, then yes. If your ally costs three, then in an opening hand suit up, you can play both of them. But like later on, it gets a little bit harder. Um, I guess we'll use suit up to play ready to rumble. We'll toss Ronin and we'll stand up. Wait, Quicksilver. Quicksilver already did stuff. We got five. Double time side by side. Uh, reinforce Sinu and a double time. You also don't have to play both hero and suit up on the same turn. Both the hero. You don't have to, but you're like holding on to it at that point, and that can be kind of tough. That that's the trap that I fell into with um with Spider Woman. I was just holding on to the cards that I needed to build. And yeah, 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 psychic. I was just holding on to the cards that I needed to build and it it was just it was getting really, really tough. Vulture's gonna attack. We're gonna block with Nick. It's gonna be two. After his activations, we get our nemesis. So let's go ahead and pull out our nemesis. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Alrighty. So we're going to get Avalanche, who is inside two. When revealed, each player must choose to either take two indirect damage or exhaust their identity. We'll take one, two. And then we've got this, which is inside one. Comes with a two threat. And then we're going to shuffle these guys in. Quicksilver looks so fun. I'm surprisingly never played him. Ooh, you definitely should. You definitely should. Uh, he's a he's a ton of fun. You just ordered the villain health dial, and, and I believe it can be attached to the villain board. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Like right up here, like on top of this, or like down here. That's pretty slick. They do good stuff over there. It's it's really impressive. Avalanche is going to attack us for two. We will block. Take one damage and we're ready. Then our encounter card, Earthquake. Insight one. Discard two cards from your hand. And exhaust your identity. Jeez. Team. Team. Discard side by side and a maximum velocity. Woo. That was brutal. I guess we'll play double time to take out Avalanche. And then we'll stand up. Do we do we just lose the main here? Uh, 
Probably not. I've always wondered what that little oval on the villain board. No, I guess. Oh, oh yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> for Spider-Woman, I gotta play Leadership Pool to lessen the chance of that problem for being rich in resource and putting... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a good call. Pool is a good call for that. Did we flip down? If we flip down, we lose the main. I think we're losing the main regardless. Um, we're at six health. Let's try not to lose the main. We're going to toss Sinu. I'm going to draw into Genius Power Gloves. Suit up. Hyper Perception. And a Professor X. All right. I'm going to add one threat. Vulture is going to attack. We're going to block. Two plus three. That's five. We take four damage. Ah! And then we have to discard a card from our hand. I'll discard power gloves. Encounter card is from every direction. Place one threat on the main scheme for each enemy in play. We lose the main regardless. Oh my gosh, this was uh This was not good. Choose a set aside villain at random. Put that villain into play. We'll re-roll a six. One, two, three, four. Place the active counter on it. Doc Ock. You deal an extra encounter card. This comes in with three. Coordinated effort. Each enemy gains one acceleration icon. Comes in with six. And take one for the team. Attach to the villain with the highest attack. Um, you cannot attack villains who do not have an attached copy of take one for the team. I'll throw it on Doc Ock. Well, that was bad. That was bad. Why do you get uh, three encounter cards this phase? So the f I think it was four, actually. Um, so I dealt one. What was it? So I dealt... No, it was three. Yeah, so I dealt um, one from every direction, which uh, placed a threat... This, we're also playing experts, so this surged. So this was our first one. We placed a threat, which flipped us to stage two, which dealt us an encounter card, and then this surged. As a casual Quicksilver enjoyer, we'd be happy to hear a buddy of mine played in the past week and absolutely loved him. Nice. That's awesome. Shouldn't you be ready after defending if it was quick? Yeah, thank you. No, because I think I got exhausted, right? No, I should be ready. You're right. You're right. Thank you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alrighty. Friction resistance and a genius will play Professor X. We'll confuse Dr. Octopus. We will Quicksilver will ready friction we will thwart one here. So we'll ready friction resistance and we'll ready Quicksilver. Board is looking a little rough. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Honestly, I think we don't play suit up. I think we are in a spot where we just cannot play suit up. So we'll friction resistance. Use suit up to play hyper perception, which gives us plus one thwart. Quicksilver will then... 100% should have done this differently. We're going to have done this first, which would have removed here. And then we will play X, because it doesn't actually matter. But we have another thwart of two. But since I was trying to save suit up, we're not going to do that. Um, I 
I think X will take three here. Quicksilver will take two here. Isn't coordinated effort worse than crisis? It's not great. It's not great. Um, but taking the, I I could see both. I think I think both is both are pretty bad. I really like psychic and theory. I've yet to get it to work well. I'm in the same boat as you, Jasko. Yeah. So take out coordinated effort over the crisis. Crisis scares me, but I think, I think, yeah, let's do it. Especially because we're confused. So we got three here, coordinated effort, and two there. So we're just going to throw all of our thwarting at coordinated effort rather than the main in here. Cool. All right, we'll stand up. Two, four, five. It is a little sad that we lost out on our entire... <laughs> Psychic on Honey Badger worked wonders. I I do that is my that's my outlier is Psychic on Honey Badger is very very good. <laughs> we got one here. Doc Ock is going to attack. We're going to block with X. It's going to be enough. There goes there. Then our encounter card is High Fashion Expert Mode. This card gains Insight One and cannot be canceled. We're up to five. Put the set aside Electro and Craven into play. Cool. Uh oh. I don't have X23 yet, so I haven't tried it with her. It's really good. It's the thing for me. I have the pieces to make it work in the right places. I got you. Being a one per deck hurts a lot. I yeah. That that too. I think that does hurt. Okay. Friction Resistance will play Call for Backup. We will thwart two off of Seismic Proportion, which will ready, ready. We'll thwart two here. Friction Resistance will drop Treskelion. And we got nothing. Uh, we're going to flip down here. Uh, actually, we're going to flip down. We're going to toss Reinforced Suit and Inspired to draw Sidearm and Iron Man. That does not help. We're going to toss all of them. We'll stand up. Wait, we were down. We got Inspired. All of our attachments are at the bottom. Oof. You always have the other ally with no Psychics or Psychics with the ally nowhere inside. Yeah. Psychic has worked best on Deadpool. He's so consistent. One of my favorite decks right now. Oh, interesting. Nice. Rough hands there. Yeah. Yeah, it's not great. Psychic deck needs suit up. I, yeah. And that's why I think Psychic works better in a multiplayer game. Because I have not been able to flip down. Now, if leadership gets more confused, that changes. But I didn't. And we had a fairly decent chance of drawing suit up in our opening hand. We just missed it. Leadership, <laughs> Leadership really needs some buffs. <laughs> so we got inspired. Hey, there's suit up. Superpower training. Reinforce suit. It's one, two, three, four. Side by side. And a double time. I'm going to go one here. We're confused. Our encounter card is surprise. Expert mode. This card gains surge and cannot be canceled. Resolve the ambush ability on the main scheme. Choose a set aside villain at random. Put that villain into play. We'll go even odd. We got scorpion. 
and two thread on light at the end. Life size decoy, we cannot thwart side schemes. And he has top. And it actually says, yeah, it cannot thwart sides. All right, okay. Whew. Best thing to do is mulligan hard for seed up turn one. And I did. I tossed six cards and drew, and I didn't draw into it. All righty, let's use uh, superpower training and reinforced suit to play suit up. We'll go grab Miss Wanda and our... Psychic. Why did I think that it was? I don't know. I, don't know. I think I did my math wrong. Uh, we're going to toss these three to play Scarlet Witch. And then we don't have two cards to discard. No! So I guess we will hang on to these. We're at two health. Yo, team. This is not good. Um, we, can't, we can't thwart Coffer backup because of the life-size decoy. Ah, let's go. Let's let's flip up friction resistance. Um, side by side and inspired. We'll play Scarlet Witch. This is insane. It's Triskelion, but Noah. <laughs> I get, but I have to be in hero. I have to be in hero to use it as a re Oh, wait, no. I don't. I don't have to be in hero to use it as a resource. I have to be in hero to... Uh, after I ready Quicksilver. Alrighty. Well, let's, uh, let's think about that. Let's think about that. I think it still doesn't matter because I won't have a card to discard. So I think I did my math wrong in my... Uh, I think I did my math wrong in my video. So, oops. You really wanted two. I had some Quicksilver trying a new trick. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Friction Resistance inspired side by side. We'll get Scarlet Witch out. We'll heal for three. One, two, three. We'll flip up. Ready to rumble. We'll proc, which will ready Quicksilver and Friction Resistance. I'm actually going to hang on to Inspired instead. Friction Resistance will drop an Inspired on Scarlet Witch. Quicksilver will knock the tough here. We'll ready, ready. Then we will uh, Friction Resistance to drop Sidekick on Scarlet Witch. King gets Scarlet Witch plus Sidekick. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Scarlet Witch is going to attack the life size decoy for one, two, three, four. And then Quicksilver will take out the life size decoy. What's Scorpion going to do? Stun me? Yeah. All right. Stand up. Sidearm. Accelerated reflex. Inspired. Ronin to four. Ready to rumble. Woo! A one here. We're getting attacked for three plus a boost card. We'll block for one. So two, four. In expert mode, it gets plus two. That's game. Ow. No, because I can't thwart side schemes. Decoy is so annoying in expert. He really is. We're going to run that back just because. Well, I and like. I, I should say we didn't get to see the deck do what it was what it wanted to do, but like honestly, we played this is probably my third or fourth game with Psychic where that has been the narrative. 
You can use card as a resource, but reading the resource gen generator works. Yeah. Oof. Okay, let's try that again. Getting hit with our nemesis early was really bad. Honestly, the deck is good. It's just psychic is not very good if the hands aren't flowing well. And that's true. That yeah, I think the uh the sidekick is it's slow. I like Kalu in my sidekick decks. Cheap suit up target can just use the upgrade on your sidekick. They can draw you a side by side. Cheap suit up target. Yeah. Okay. Spider Woman last time psychic had a lot of fail fails this week. Does this mean my view on psychic is not actually a good card? Um my my view on psychic is that um I don't it's it's a very slow card. It's a very slow card and I think in solo play it's going to be tough to run effectively. I keep hearing psychic instead of sidekick. <laughs> nice. It comes down to what you draw. Psychic either feels very clunky or win more for heroes like X23 or Vision. That's interesting. Yeah. That's an interesting like take. Yeah, but that makes sense. It can feel win, win more. No feet. Good morning. What are we doing today? We are we're losing. That's what we're doing. Now we're uh we're playing we're trying psychic. We're trying a psychic quicksilver and it is not working well. Sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Now it it I think it is just it is just clunky. Wait, is it great for missions? No, not really. No. I mean, like, it gets you plus two hit points, and that's pretty much it. All right. Let's try this again. Because if we get, if we get her on the table, turn one, that entire game is different. But it's also like, I don't want to say like, hey, like, you just maybe use power of leadership since it can pay suit up. I don't have a ton of leadership cards in here, though, or a ton of high cost leaderships. I think I'm probably sitting at one, two, three, four. I guess I'm at like seven. I guess I am. at no, I'm at I'm at ten. I'm at, I, I guess I am at 10, so I could, but like, I'm already like running pretty heavy on the deck. And so it's like, I'm, I'm probably looking at cutting something, which like we could cut one of the ready to rumbles. I guess we probably don't need team training. I personally never like Voltron allies. Oh yeah, I love Voltron. <laughs> but the side by sides will increase your stats and the ally stats, so you can even you you can even use it to heal them, right? Yeah. Do you have call for backup and call for aid to get? I don't have call for aid. I do have call for backup. Um. I think suit up is good, but you should probably just play the signature as soon as you get it. I think that is the case. If we have not already passed reinforced suit, I guess, I guess we don't need to play. We don't need to, I guess if we played Scarlet Witch, we could just hope that we draw suit up. And if we don't, if we don't, we could honestly just chump with Scarlet Witch and like, we're in the same boat. Call for a hit is real quick. If you don't mind losing your whole deck. <laughs> You can always grab a different ally. It's only for a higher chance of being able to play all the cards. I mean, for Inspire, Team Training, Power Gloves, all the upgrades are all useless if you can't put them on the Psychic. You can't... Well, that's why I have Ronin and Iron Man in here. That's the, that's the idea. Alrighty, we're going to choose two villains. Five and three. 
We've got Doc Ock and Craven. Stupid Craven. <laughs> Light at the va uh yep, yep, yep. Starts with two. With the signature on the table, you won't be able to suit up psychic, but you could always chump block to get yeah. Yeah, I think I th yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Good call. Call for backup, superpower training, Nick, Maria, Scarlet Witch, and a psychic. Well, there you go. Um <laughs> Yeah. Easy. I think we mulligan everything but Scarlet Witch and Psychic just to see if we can get a double, right? Or do we just... Craven, please just go away, right? Right? Yeah, let's toss four. Sidearm. Inspired. Always be running. X. We'll go all our sidearm and always be running. If I get a double, what am I? I'm not actually netting anything, though. I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. Never mind. Mulligan for doubles. Like, if I have a double, I'm playing that. Oh, no, I, I would be able to. I would be able to play inspired. So let's use sidearm and X. To draw into reinforced suit and a team training. All right. Did not work. That's fine. At least we have Scarlet Witch now. Reinforced suit, team training, and inspired. We'll play Scarlet Witch. Always be running. We'll drop a sidekick on her. And then we will flip up. We will thwart. Thwart. We'll take the two here. Scarlet Witch is going to attack Craven for one plus zero. That checks out. Just got an idea of playing Cable with Psychic and call for backup with the highest cost leadership ally. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Does Cable have a signature ally? I don't think he does. I did not have Scarlet Witch on the table. So, JF, I, I didn't have Scarlet Witch on the table, so I could not have drawn an extra card there. And if I put Scarlet Witch on the table, then I would have to have used... I would have had to have dropped Psychic. Or Psychic. But if I had a double, then I, I would have been able to. Good call. One, two, three, four. Five. Cable has no friends. <laughs> Deadpool is his best bud, though. Heard that. Yeah, one here. Doc Ock is going to attack for two. We're going to block uh, plus two. So that's one, two, three. Then place one threat on each scheme. And then move the activation counter. My encounter card is a surprise. Surge cannot be canceled. Resolve ambush. We got three. Electro. Surge is into Sinister Strike. Place one Pursuit counter on Pursuit by the Past, and then they're going to attack us. We got Electro. Attacking us for one. Ooh. You could in multiplayer. Yeah, if you, if you just make the call, you can pull a identity-specific ally out. What happens when he attacks us? Discard the top seven cards of our deck. Um, yeah. We'll take it. One, two, place one threat on each scheme. One additional threat on the main scheme. So two threat here, one threat here. And we take two. One, two, discard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to move this to Craven. Domino with two potential sidekicks. What do you think? I And we were talking about that in the comments of that video. That Domino and Bishop having the two signature allies makes it a better... I think better. Hey, Jester. How's it going? 
I think Domino could be pretty good. I do too. I think Domino, especially because Domino wants to be utilizing or having multiple activations with probability field. So that's kind of cool. No, no feed. It has to be on an, it has to be on a, uh, but it, it can be, you can make the call. Like if, if I was playing two handed, I could make the call Scarlet Witch and then play Sidekick on her. But it's, it's tough. It's a, it's a tough ask. It's a lot of setup. <laughs> Domino can probably do it. She is rich enough to play anything on her turn. That's true. All right, we're going to use suit up and double time to play maximum velocity. Um, Scarlet Witch is going to thwart the main for one. Three takes it down to one. Quicksilver is going to attack, attack to do six damage here. I'm going to flip down to Pietro. We're going to toss these two cards and draw one, two, three. We'll use Speed Cyclone to play Ready to Rumble, and then we'll hang on to Friction Resistance. Thematically, Psychic on a Cynic Trally only is good but the possibilities would have been insane without oh yeah yeah <laughs> that's true stand up got friction resistance strength nice several okay nice reinforce suit Treskelion. and a sidearm i'm gonna go one craven's gonna scheme for one two and counter card is partnership of pain because of course it is uh, so we're going to scheme for five, six. Which will pop. Choose a set aside villain at random. Put that villain into play. One, two, three, four, five, six. And place the active counter on it. Scorpion. Uh, then we get a encounter card. Which is brute force barricade. Threat cannot be removed from other schemes with nine other side schemes. Other side schemes. Partnership of pain is so brutal. Oh, that's not as fun then. Gurismo. Oh, I I see. The uh, yeah. Cable uh, is signature ally only. Yeah. I think psychic should have been multiple copies allowed in the deck, but only one on the board, like unflappable or heroic intuition. That makes sense. Or just make it like a, a unique card. Well, no, unique. You can only have one in your deck. I think that the stipulation on Psychic there for balancing purpose. Otherwise, it would be a nightmare card that has potential for future game-breaking combos. I come back from getting breakfast and half the Sinister Six are picking a fight with you. What happened? Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm always surprised how much Quicksilver can do and how funny he is for an early design hero. Yeah. Yeah, he is... He is He's a good time. He's a really, really good time. Reinforce suit and strength. Or yeah, strength will play friction resistance. Friction resistance will play several industries. We will exhaust several industries. Yeah. To shuffle two silver cards, quick silver cards back in our deck, which is gonna be maximum velocity. Potentially speed cyclone, honestly. So I could use some stun. You know what? That's what we're going to do. Oh, wait. I didn't have to toss these. <laughs> Not yet. I like the restriction on cyclic, but I like to see a few more cards in the art. Yeah. Technically, it's a two out of three. <laughs> we're going to toss these two and draw one, two, three. There's the maximum velocity that I was looking for. I'm going to heal for three. One, two, three, which is going to heal Scarlet Witch for two. I'm going to flip up. Ready to Rumble is going to proc Ready Friction Resistance and Quicksilver. 
friction resistance in Iron Man will play maximum velocity. Craven has two health left. Scorpion is going to stun me. That's fine. Um, Scarlet Witch is going to attack Craven for one plus zero. Dang it. Man, Scarlet Witch is not pulling her weight today. I'm so ready for Iceman. I am definitely ready for Iceman. May your first deck instead of using straight precons. Nice. I'm now murdering villains. No problem on standard. Am I tripping or pre precons are bad? Yeah, precons are precons are not optimized. I think that's a better way of saying it. No feed. Yeah. Precons precons have to balance the fact that they have to be playable, but also give you a full set of player cards for like deck building. And so a lot of the precons just have a lot of dead cards in them. Yeah. Dong. Good call. Yeah. Precons are okay in multiplayer. For solo, you might need to take on multiple copies, so they give you some more cards, yeah. Some precons are okay. From what I play, they usually suck. <laughs> Can't believe we whiffed on Scarlet Witch. Um, five. Okay, so we are going to go to Electro. Let's go ahead and attack for three here. We will ready, ready. We will attack for three. Friction resistance will play always be running, which will ready, ready. We will attack for three more, which will take out Doc Ock. We'll remove four threat from here. How's it going, Jason? How you doing? The worst deck builder will most likely make a better deck than the ring. <laughs> uh, Quicksilver, I love him in leadership with Moxie. Uh, MV turns, he can get dumb, block, and untap again. Yeah. I see. Thanks for the info, guys. I was shocked at night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You will notice a huge difference. All right. We'll stand up. We'll draw into a death focus. There's Speed Cyclone. Always be running. Accelerated Reflex. And an Inspired. We'll go one here. We're going to block Scorpion. So it's going to be three plus zero. We take no damage, which is huge. We'll stand up. And our encounter card is a life-size decoy. Gross. Boo. Boo. <laughs> They're playable. That's the most praise I can give them. <laughs> All righty. Well... Friction Resistance will drop a Death Focus. Um, I will take out Craven. Remove 4th Threat from here. That's not a Thwart, so we can do that. And that's going to ready, ready. You think that after the hero sees one of these life-size decoys, they figure it out, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. Death focus. Hmm. I want to get accelerated reflex, but I also want to just stun both of them. Um, Death focus, friction resistance. We'll play speed cyclone. We'll stun both of our villains. We'll pop the tough here with Quicksilver. Scarlet Witch will attack for one. Yeah, one plus three. Let's go. That's four. 
I like that. I played AOA with Bishop's Precon. It was pretty awful. <laughs> hey, I just got the corset. Nice. I'm a little confused. I see people boosting the dealing an additional card. What happens when the villain schemes? Or is it when he attacks as well? Yeah, so you would... You get a boost card, which is when the villain activates. Regardless of if they are attacking or scheming, you're going to take their base value and apply the boost of boost icons here to that activation. So it's going to be plus, uh, in this case, three to their scheme or attack. Yeah. Does Def Focus work like that with X-Class cards? From what I understand, yeah. Because Helicarrier works like that for X-Class cards, and I believe they're printed the same. Yeah. Yeah. If not, I'll do it and play Accelerated Reflex with the Death Focus. But I'm, I'm like 90% sure. And then, yes, you get an encounter card. So, we're actually w going into the um, villain phase. So, let's walk through it methodically here. So, we're going to stand up. We are going to draw up to our hand size, which is 5. Then, step one, we're going to place a threat on the main scheme. Step two, we are going to, the villain is going to attack us. He's actually stunned, so he's not going to attack. But if he attacked us, it would be three plus a boost card for the attack. Then all of the minions are going to activate against us. It's a zero, zero. Uh, so, nothing happens. And then we deal ourselves an encounter card. The card as a whole is ignored other than the icons or boost effects as a boost card. Yeah, the rest of the card is you're you're looking just at those icons. Stars don't count as boost icons. That's a good call. Yeah. If during the encounter phase, you get an encounter card that lets him activate, you draw a boost card since he activated. Yeah, every single unless it says he does not get a boost card, he always gets a boost card. Hidden in shadow, each enemy gains one hazard icon. That comes in with four. Honestly, that is awful. With brute force barricade, where that could be game ending right there, honestly. We do have a maximum velocity. Oh my gosh. Ah, okay. Um,. Friction Resistance will put an Inspired on Scarlet Witch. Quicksilver will take up the life-size decoy. Which will ready, ready. Quicksilver will thwart Brute Force Barricade. Scarlet Witch will thwart Hidden in Shadow for 2 plus 0. Friction Resistance will play an Always Be Running, which will Ready, Ready. Energy will play a Maximum Velocity and will Thwart Hidden in Shadow. That's really scary. We do have Insights. But I think we just have to cross our fingers. We're going to get so many encounter cards. Oh, no. Uh... Okay, so they, they boost. Then a card is dealt as damage as well. Not necessarily. So they they boost. Then a card is dealt. Um, and then you resolve that card. So when a villain activates, you're going to take the base value and count the boost icons on the card. And then you're going to go into an encounter phase where you're going to read the card and do what the card says. Yeah. Venom is very susceptible to control and chump block, though, until he gets that overkill. <laughs> yeah, I meant to say an additional card. Yeah, as opposed to damage, you just add the value to the attack. Still trying to learn the terminology. Yep, 100%. Or just, and like, I think you know this, but just, uh, or you add it to their scheme if they're scheming. You add it to the, the value that they are uh, doing.
it is a lot of terminology. We got team training, side by side, power gloves, call for backup, and an inspired. I'm gonna add one threat here. Scorpion is going to attack. We're gonna block. And here, let's do that now. So Scorpion's attacking for three. I'm going to block. I have a four defense. So we are going to take three and add two. So a total of five attack, which since we defended for four, we take one damage. After we use a basic power quicksilver, we get to ready. That's not normally true. And then Scorpion says that we have to stun a character we control, which we're going to do quicksilver. And we're going to move this to Electro. Then this card was dealt to us because we ran through our deck. So we're going to deal us another encounter card. And we'll have to resolve two this round. Marvel Champions is definitely not your average Uno game. It's very in-depth, but not as absurd. <laughs> I haven't fought Venom yet. So the first one is a life-size decoy. Make it stop. Make it stop. And then we've got a team leader attached to the villain with the lowest activation order, which is Electro. This is probably lethal because it has a crisis on it. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, man. Electro has eight health. All right. There goes maximum velocity. Oh my gosh. Team. I feel... What ha I always thought of Sinister Six as kind of like a not that challenging. Am I just wrong? Call for backup for Nick? With that on there? Hey! hey! Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Kill. Yeah, I have to kill him. So I have to do eight. We do have a... We don't have a... Oh, shoot. Can I kill him? Friction Resistance will throw a Power Gloves on Scarlet Witch. We will attack here for two. Oh, plus three. That's five. Six damage. Six damage. Let's go, Scarlet Witch. I'm not sure why I ever doubted you. Let's freaking go. That's big. That is big. We're going to attack to remove the sun. Team training and inspired will play side by side, which will ready ready. He has two left. So we're going to heal and heal. Scarlet Witch is going to hit electro. For enough. And then we're going to deal one damage here to the life-size decoy. Stun goes away, which is annoying, but at least we got rid of that. We'll remove four threat from the main. Scorpion goes here. Quicksilver is going to thwart for one on the main. I never ready friction resistance when that readied. Then, actually, hold on. We actually can Friction Resistance to play Call for Backup, then Thwart 1 on the main, then we get to Ready and Ready, which doesn't really matter, but because we have, haven't actually used his ability yet. Um, we're going to Thwart 1 here. Woo! Watching your stream through my uh, best. Humble streamer is hungry. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. I did an entire Mutant Saga, but a different hero for your... Uh, each encounter. Hmm. Two, four, five. I played one game three years ago, so trying to familiarize yourself again. Totally, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My group of four first started playing champions. We thought the acceleration gave an extra encounter card to each player. Oh, yeah. Sinister Six comes out of the corner swinging. Quicksilver is a slow start, and Hero Psychic is a slow start. Okay. Uh, that makes sense. Okay, so we got superpower training. Ronin. Hyper Perception, always be running sidearm. This is a fairly decent hand, so I'm going to go here. Scorpion's attacking for three. We're going to block. This is not damage on Scorpion. I'm going to block for two. Plus zero, so we take one damage. We're ready, and we're going to stun Quicksilver.
Who is your favorite Marvel villain if if you uh, had to choose one? In the game? Hmm. Probably Hela. Probably still Hela. Although Apocalypse is really good. Quicksilver is slow. Something seems wrong about this picture. <laughs> uh, each, each enemy gets plus one scheme and plus one attack. I hate these life-size decoys, man. I'm telling you, these life-size decoys are not my favorite. All right, let's go ahead and knock the stun off here. Friction resistance will play and always be running, which will ready, ready. Scarlet Witch is going to punch the life-size decoy for uh, two... Four power gloves, five take it out. Alrighty, Scarlet Witch. Now we're now we're cooking with fire. We all know it's wrecking crew. <laughs> Starting the MCU progression series, Nelson. I need to start that. Uh, I I am yeah. So the MCU, all the recorded stuff. I've been like literally traveling for like two months, and so I've been trying to keep content up while I've been doing that, and it's it's just been pretty challenging to do so. But I feel like we're kind of. We, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. And so, yeah, that, that is something that I plan on doing a little bit more. And this week, I'm going to be focusing on the um, hero reviews and then the AOA review. Um, but, yeah, definitely happening. We still have not used Quicksilver's ready. Let's use Friction Resistance and Def Focus to play Hyper Perception. So we get plus one port. We are going to thwart for two here. We will ready, ready. I'm trying to figure out if I want to thwart down call for backup and get Iron Man or get Nick Fury. I think it's Nick Fury because I think I want to chump block for Scorpion here. Okay, let's go ahead and thwart here. For one, call for backup clears. We're going to go grab Mr. Nick Fury, leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. Right there. We're going to remove two threat from the scheme, draw three cards, a deal for a damage. I'm going to draw three cards. Basically, get a whole another turn. If we can get a side by side, that'd be pretty sweet, too. Suit up. Genius. And a double time. Alrighty. Uh, genius and a suit up. We'll play Ronin. Friction resistance will drop a superpower training onto the table. Double time will play a sidearm on Ronin. Alrighty, the tide the tide feels like it's turning. The tide feels like it's turning. Um, let's go ahead and thwart two here. Ronin attacks for four. That's so hard to not use the thwart. He would be scheming for... We're at four. We have to thwart here. Because if we draw, like, the dark dwellings or whatever, we'll thwart there and we'll stand up. This is this is another priority. I don't even know if I'm touching superpower training, to be honest with you. Two, four, five. Ooh. It's looking good. We got a sidearm, inspired X, Maria, and an always be running. Professor X is big. Got a one. Scorpion's going to attack us for three plus a boost card. Plus two. There goes a partnership of pain. Love to see that go away. Ooh. And counter card is a dark designs. The villain's scheming. I feel vindicated. Am I dis... So it's going to be one, two. We thwarted two off. So we would have technically been fine. But still. But still. If we weren't, I would have been very sad. Now you have friction resistance. Superpower training isn't super necessary. It can get me my uh, attack. 
It can give me my attack one. But it's also just like a, a buffer for... Well, I guess light at the end is always going to be a buffer for... Um, for a threat scheme. <laughs> Ooh! All righty. We've got Friction Resistance, Sidearm, and Maria Hill to play Professor X. I'm just going to confuse Scorpion. Let's thwart for two here. That's going to ready, ready. Friction resistance will play an inspired on Ronin. We will thwart for two here. Def focus will play an always be running, which will ready, ready. We really need a sync. All this on first try too. <laughs> it's the first attempt I've seen catastrophic, so you must be right. Yeah. Scarlet Witch will die if we uh, if we use her, so I don't really want to do that. I may flip down and heal so we can start healing with Scarlet Witch. Uh, we have a blocker, so we'll wait a turn to do that. Let's go ahead and thwart for three here. Take that down to two. Ronin will punch for two, three, four, five on Scorpion. Woo! All righty. Quicksilver should not be ready, right? Oh, he should be. He should be. Um, so we'll thwart and take this out. All righty, let's stand up. Okay. Reinforce suit. Always be running. Suit up. Maximum velocity, two, four. And our fifth is a energy. Got one. Scorpion's going to attack. We're going to block with X. Plus two. And there goes another partnership of pain. Let's freaking go. Gosh, I love seeing those as boost cards. Pretty much have two Voltrons out right now. Hopefully three soon. Yesterday, I was trying to psychic Voltron game against Unis, and he kept killing my psychic. <laughs> Deals three damage to an oh yeah from the inf oh yeah that's a brutal one. From every direction, this card gains surge. Place one threat on the main scheme for each enemy in play. Surge is into attached to the villain with the most remaining hit points. If you cannot resolve, light cannot be removed from light at the end. So actually now we can just take Scorpion out and then hit it with superpower training. So that's kind of fine. Alrighty. Um, friction resistance will play a reinforced suit on Ronin. Ronin will attack for a five on. No, we're gonna leave Scorpion. We're gonna we're gonna toy with Scorpion a little bit more. Um, Quicksilver will thwart two. We're ready, ready. We're going to flip down to Alter Ego. We are going to maximum velocity and always be running for superpower siblings to draw Treskelion side by side and a side by side. We'll use the two side by sides to play a suit up. We're going to go find Mr. Iron Man and... Where's my inspired? No, oh, it's probably in here still. I think I'm blind, team. Is it in my hand? So after the course set, should I get one of each aspect and Rise of Red Skull as the buying order? I would highly suggest just going to um, Rise of Red Skull first. Rise of Red Skull is going to just have a ton of value for you in terms of villains, but also also aspect cards. Um, you're gonna get the most value out of your money from buying the campaign expansions, but if there is a hero that you are like, I love this hero, grab the hero. Absolutely grab the hero. 
Friction Resistance, and uh, Triskelion, and Energy is going to play Iron Man. We're going to play Inspired on Iron Man. Several Industries is going to shuffle a Maximum Velocity and a Always Be Running. Definitely buy Hulk first. This is a joke. Don't do that. Hulk, Hulk is notoriously bad. I've heard Strange, Strange is the best character in the game. Strange is the best character in the game, yeah. Um, and Strange comes with a protection deck, so I'm biased towards that at least. Guardians, most... Yeah, so in terms of like difficulty, Galaxy's Most Wanted is going to be the hardest box. Rise of Red Skull still holds up. Which campaign box has two of the best heroes? I'm actually working on a video for that. I think, I think it's next evolution for me. Miss Marvel would really help protection aspect. Well, that's a good call. That's a good call. Yeah. I'm going to heal for three. One, two, three, which is going to heal Scarlet Witch for two. Iron Man will thwart for three here. Ronin will thwart for one, two, three here. Scarlet Witch will thwart for uh, two plus three. That's five here. Let's go, Scarlet Witch. Heck yeah. All right, we'll stand up. Light cannot be removed from light at the end. Shoot. Uh, so that's three, <laughs> six, five. Dang it, that's 11, isn't it? I was so excited. Red Skull, Strange to make a coherent protection deck. Of course, that, of course that protection is not good. Yeah. Doctor Strange is so fun when you don't have someone yelling that they're OP in your ear. <laughs> I suggest getting Sinister of your Motives or Mutant Genesis after Rise of Red Skull as a second campaign box. I would agree. I, I love Sinister Motives. So if you like spiders, go Sinister Motives. If you like X-Men, Mutant Genesis. Next Evolution is also pretty good. I think the heroes in Next Evolution are a little bit more complex, but it's a pretty good, like, gives a lot of good villains. spider Ham is really fun. Wasp gives some great basic cards. That's true. We got our ready to rumble. Let's freaking go. All right. We're going to go one, confuse, and counter card. Hi, Fashion. In Expert Mode, this card gains Insight 1 and cannot be canceled. Put the set aside Electro and Craven the Hunter into play. Did I put one of them in here? I totally did. Electro and Craven. Boo. Alrighty. Hmm. Okay, let's use Friction Resistance to play Ready to Rumble. We're going to drop a Power Gloves on Iron Man. Several Industries is going to shuffle a Always Be Running and an Always Be Running back into the deck. Played Red Skull for the first time the other day using Aggression. Psylocke and beat him in 20... Sick. Nice. If you want a half your average game time by Wolverine and Star-Lord... You did Rise of Red Skull, Sinister Mode is then Next Evolution. I think that's a really good buying order right there. I have two players uh, wanting to play, so the only deck I haven't sleeved up is Iron Man. Iron Man is... I love Iron Man. Uh, mm, we're actually going to not throw Power Gloves on Iron Man. We're going to use Double Time and Power Gloves to draw three cards. Reinforce Suit. Always be running. And a Suit Up. I think at this point in the game, I'm trying to figure out if I want to just drop a reinforced suit on Scarlet Witch, or do I want to... Yeah, we're going to heal. Can I heal when I'm at full? Did they change that? I think they changed that in 1.5, right? I can't heal. That's sad. This board is looking amazing. 
It's uh, it's definitely something. <laughs> Where's my team training? Is that that's in my discard pile, right? Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, I don't think I can heal. I don't think I can heal when I'm at full health. I'm also I'm at nine. I gave myself an extra hit point last last turn. Did I start at ten? I think I started at ten. I never got down. I should be I can't. Boo. Boo. Okay, well the reinforced suit may go on Spider Woman then. Or Scarlet Witch. Okay. Let's flip up to Quicksilver. Let's go strength for a maximum velocity. We are going to have Ronin take out Scorpion. It's going to remove fourth rep from superpower training, which will get us our. I'm confused on how to clean up Deadpool board since it has fabric. Oh, really? Oh, interesting. Got Quicksilver there. Full boosted stat line. We're going to attack for four. We're ready, ready. We will attack for four more, which will take out Electro. Go down to nine. Craven comes in. Friction resistance will play and always be running, which will ready, ready. We will attack for four. He has nine health. How do you guys clean the hero boards? Just water? For these, I use like a Clorox wipe. Carefully. Well, maybe you can heal because it changes the game state. But they they changed the they they the changing the game state is no longer a thing in Marvel Champions. You have to have an active target, and so that means that basically responses cannot dictate an action. And so I cannot take an action that does not have an active target to trigger a response. That makes sense because this is a response. It's weird. Friction resistance will play and always be running. So ready, ready. Scarlet Witch is going to punch for uh, two, three, four. Spider using Psychic. I have not tried Spider yet, but she is one that I think would be really, really good. Iron Man is just going to punch Craven. Remove seven. Take that down to two. Craven gets knocked out. Friction Resistance will drop a reinforced suit on Scarlet Witch. I'm going to thwart the main. We'll stand up. This is how the deck was supposed to work. Scarlet Witch is armored up for sure. <laughs> Encounter card, acceleration token. I don't know how many times I've actually done this in a Marvel Champions game where I have decked out, which deals me an encounter card, which decks out the encounter deck. I don't think I, I don't even know if I've ever done that. Hey, Bahamut. I think Brant played Spider Spy Kick guy. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Fallen. I hope you enjoy the game. I, I'm really happy that you're here. That's awesome. Trying some Psychic Kicker Goliath shenanigans. Ooh. Okay. 
I feel like that happens to you. Oh, really? Huh. Nice. Maybe I just don't notice it. Is D? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's the that's gonna Marvel CDB. Yeah, that's gonna be the best place for deck list. Taking suit up to a whole new level. <laughs> Maximum velocity is in here, but I need to remember that I have plus two to everything. All right, we're going to add two. When a villain would activate if no villain is in play, resolve this card's ambush ability. Choose a set-aside villain at random, put the villain into play, and place the active counter it. And place two threat on light at the end. I prefer a win before the villain dex resets. <laughs> Same. Doc Ock. After Doc Ock attacks and damages, you place one threat on each scheme. Doc Ock is going to attack for two. I'm going to block for four. Plus two. We take no damage. We're going to ready. Two encounter cards. First one being Evil Alliance. Place three. And pull out our nemesis, which is going to... Whew. Insight 3. I think Quicksilver's nemesis in solo is low-key brutal. Last two threat needed to win. Quicksilver sure takes it. Uh, no, because I flips and I have 15 more. But whenever I flip light at the end, I then have a hazard. And so I I didn't want to resolve three encounter cards. That, that was because light at the end flips. And then you have to thwart 15 more before you win. Need a clarity of purpose to ensure you have something to heal, maybe? Oh, that's interesting. That's an interesting call. I like that. Avalanche is the worst. Avalanche is not great. <laughs> Just went on turn one. It works every time. I have done it. It's fun. It is a it is a good time. Encounter card. Partnership of pain. The villain with the highest activation order attacks you. He's going to attack us for two plus a boost card. I never drew up my hand size. Um... We're gonna, we're at not. We're gonna take it. It's gonna be two. Put this minion into play. Engage with you. Stop that. That's not good. That's actually really, really bad. Ah, ah. Um. So we take two damage. One, two. Ridiculous. Playing Quicksilver against Brotherhood is weird because of Avalanche. Isn't, oh yeah, that's true. Loki brutal. Loki is brutal. And he's not even low key brutal. He is high key brutal. Alrighty. Ronan knocks himself out if we if we use him. I think I'm kind of okay with that at this point. Not really though. Um <laughs> Let's have Scarlet Witch attack Avalanche for one, two, plus three. Man, Scarlet Witch is hitting fire. We're going to use Power Gloves to ping the one here. Decoys with the perfect timing, right? I think we I think we take out Ronan. I need my team training. We have a lot of always be runnings. I think I'm gonna play Nick though. We're going to have Ronin attack life-size decoy. Deal one damage to Ock. Doc Ock. That's going to knock out Ronin. Sad. I think we're also going to lose Iron Man here, but it is what it is. Quick, or we'll use Friction Resistance. Speed Cyclone. Always be running. And always be running. To play Nick Fury, which will draw us into a double time. 
double time, suit up. Don't tempt me with a good time and suit up. I don't think we I don't think we go double time here. I I think the other thing to think about is like do we have do we need to have the time to build another Voltron? Or do we have the time to build another Voltron? We have the, the game state is kind of in our control right now. <laughs> I heard Ronan. I was like, wait, what? I forgot about the ally, right? Ronan got taken out by a scarecrow. Big L. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough look for our boy. Um, we can actually save. Now we are flipping down, which is... If we flip down... I don't know if I want to flip down. We have a full... We have a full deck. We lose if we flip down, just knowing knowing how this game works. So we're not going to suit up. Um, so in that case, let's def focus, suit up to play double time, remove two threat from here. And then we will... Remove two threat here. Ooh. If only the villain was easy, right? Uh, let's thwart two off the light at the end. We'll ready, ready. Thwart two off light at the end. It's going to flip. We're going to throw 15 on there. And it also has a hazard icon, meaning that we need to take an additional encounter card. Doc Ock has seven hit points left. Um, friction resistance always be running. We'll play double time. Four, seven, nine. We'll deal four damage to Doc Ock. Iron Man will deal three damage to Doc Ock, which will knock Iron Man out. But that will be enough to take Doc Ock out, which will remove seven threats from here. Here's five, six, seven. Put eight back. Well, actually, Nick's going to thwart two. Mm. I'm so scared of this main. I'm so scared of this main. But at six, at six, we're going to thwart two here. We're going to leave this at eight. Okay, let's stand up. Got two, four, five. Give me some maximum velocities. Maria, team training, X. X is good. X is really good here. We're going to add two. We're going to ambush. Add two. Vulture. Vulture is going to attack for two. We'll block with Nick. Plus two. There goes a partnership of pain. Then our encounter card is Dark Designs. Place one pursuit and then the villain scheming. I told you it would happen. Villain scheming for one, three. Oh my gosh. Ooh. We are one away from loss here. We have three, five, seven. So we're good with Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch is going to thwart for uh, two plus three. Scarlet Witch is a banger. 
Let's go, Scarlet Witch. Quicksilver will thwart 4-2. Um, we'll not ready. We'll use Friction Resistance and a Team Training to play side-by-side, -side, which will ready, ready Scarlet Witch will thwart for two, three. That's game. Woo! Scarlet Witch hit like four, three boost cards that game. That was wild. Like, Scarlet Witch is the opposite of her child. She is not with him. Holy cow. Honest, but like straight up, like we just we just we played two games in an hour and forty five minutes. Quicksilver is not a fast <laughs> hero. <laughs> oh my gosh, Did I, I didn't do I didn't do an extra encounter card. Dang it, it's a life size decoy. Do we still win? So Scarlet, oh my gosh. I did I only did one encounter card. So No, it actually would have been team leader. It would have been team leader. Uh light If you cannot Oh, it just has a crisis icon. No, actually it would have been it would have been robotic enhancements. Gains insight 1. Oh, it gains insight 1. So we actually lost. We actually lost. No, because this would have been our encounter card. And it gains insight one and we lose. Boo. 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 Well. That that is one of the more one of the more frustrating losses I've had in the game, but oh geez. Alrighty. Well that took way longer than I was expecting. Um I think I still, let me check, where did I put my phone? Um, I, I don't, hmm. I don't, I don't think, I don't, like, Psychic, honestly, to me, feels like a fairly valid Deck Factory candidate, because I don't think it's that, in solo, I don't think it's that good. It's very, very slow. The real win was the Voltron allies we made along the way. <laughs> no, I lost. I lost. I thought I won, but I forgot to deal myself an extra encounter card. The extra encounter card lost me the game. Bummer. I can't believe that happened. Get rid of the decoys and try again. <laughs> the decoys are annoying as heck. I actually, I, I don't think I have enough time to, to play another game, but I will be back on Wednesday. We're going to be playing Lord of the Rings on Wednesday. Lord of the Rings is uh, going to be starting at 10 a.m., so same start time as this game. And then on Friday, I'm starting a new Arkham Horror campaign with Professor Meg. We did Dunwich Legacy probably about a year ago together. Um, so she's coming back on the channel, and we're going to be running through Carcosa together. And so that's going to be Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Maybe it's more better to do Psychic plus Chump Blocks with allies rather than Voltron. Maybe. I tr Well, I tried that and it didn't work. <laughs> I, I tried. I tried it. But then all your suit-ups are dead. Tried to find a team to play a four-player game yesterday. Couldn't find any, but not giving up. Aw. Really need to get into Lord of the Rings. I'll be either watching to get a feel. Probably will go watch some Lord of the Rings content from you after this stream ends. Nice. Lord of the Rings is epic. Lord of the Rings is awesome. Sweet. I appreciate you all. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your Monday, and I will see you on Wednesday. But until then, hope you have a good day. Peace.